Layoffs on the railroad. Good evening. I'm Angela Rygard. Rail company CSX announced today the closure of three maintenance facilities at the company's terminal in Corbin. Along with the announcement, about 180 active employees learned they were losing their jobs. WYMT's Matthew Rand is live in Corbin with the latest. Matt. Angela, company officials tell me the decrease in Appalachian, Central Appalachian coal production is the reason they chose to mothball the facilities here in Corbin. Now, many people we talked to are concerned about what these layoffs will mean for the local economy. CSX officials say the amount of Central Appalachian coal moving by rail through Corbin has decreased by 57 percent in the past decade. CSX alone has lost about a billion dollars in coal revenue over just the past four years. And as a result, we're seeing a decline in the coal trains coming through this area. CSX announced the closing of the Corbin Locomotive Shop, Locomotive Service Center, and Car Shop. About 100 engineering and transportation employees will stay on to manage yard traffic, but about 180 workers learned Tuesday they would be let go. We understand this is a very difficult day for those employees and their families, and so we're focused on supporting them in every way that we can. Affected employees will receive at least 60 days pay and benefits. Some may be eligible to relocate elsewhere within the CSX network. The news was a shock for many who call the railroad the backbone of Corbin. It has a, a real good income. Jobs are hard to come by around here right now, so uh, it's really going to it's going to hurt them. With the layoffs, local officials say the downturn in coal has trickled down and impacted Corbin's rail economy. While you have other other products that come through here, obviously over the years, coal has been the primary product that has traveled through uh, this part of Corbin in eastern Kentucky, so it's, it's made a major impact. Officials say they are working with workforce development agencies and local employers to help the furloughed workers stay in the area. Now, coincidentally, there's a job fair coming up. It's going to be on October 29th at the Corbin Center, which is right behind Applebee's. We're told there's going to be more than 20 local employers there, and local officials are hoping some of these uh, former workers will be able to go there and maybe find some other opportunities. For, for now, reporting live in Corbin, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News.